What's the deal, my people? You know what it is. Tony Teflon, the Don Moji Mo. This is Street Talk New York, live on Teflon TV, Fantasy Football Weekly, where we bring you who to start, who to sit, every week on Fantasy Football, plus everything else that's going on with Fantasy Football, any injuries or anything that you need to know. We'll definitely get into all that, and we will tell you what's going on in our own personal Fantasy Football League, our matchup for the week, and why we think we may win or lose that matchup. And you can predict you, whether you think we're going to win or lose that matchup this week, and then we'll let you know the results the following week. Once again, my co-host is none other than Moji Mo. What's going on, Mo? Chilling, man. Glad to be here. This is what it is. It's Fantasy Football Weekly. I'm glad to be here with the Don. And we're just going to give you our advice, folks. This is, what it, this is what it's all about. Season's about to start, man. I'm so hyped. No doubt. We just drafted our team for our league. Everyone's good. But we're going to start with start and sit. Who are we starting with first? We've got a couple of people out there. Uh, that have given in our given us our their questions of who they want to start and sit and if you want to be a a participant in and you want your question answered just put in on the comment section who do you think we should start and sit put it down in the comment section on Tuesday we will answer we will put the new videos up on Wednesday so you have that by sir Thursday but if it's anything else during the week after just put in the comment section and we will definitely uh, reply to you in the comment section and give you our selection yes folks if you want the don tony teflon and mojini giving you all the good advice make sure you hit up the comment sections after every video on who you would like us to start and sit in your lineups no doubt so let's get into the first one what is it going to be what, what category are we rolling with first we have start and sits for wide receivers here first from a couple of good listeners First comes up from Steve. He asks, would you start Randall Cobb or Dante Moncrief? So, so we're doing the wide receivers first? Yes, indeed. Nice. Uh, I don't really think it's a, it's a tough question for me. If I had to pick one to start, you know, I would start Randall Cobb. I think that he would be in a much better form than he was last year, going back to the position that he's more comfortable in. I think he's poised to have a big year. I think he's a solid number two. I don't think he's a number one receiver, but a solid number two. So my pick would be Randall Cobb. Yeah, this is a tough one here. I think Randall Cobb's getting older with age. That offense is going to have Jordy Nelson back. He's going to eat up a lot of the targets, folks. And, and, and to tell you the truth, Dante Moncrief's yeah, yig. Dante Moncrief is stepping into the limelight. All right? The Packers are playing at the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars have a great defense. And I'm not really feeling Cobb's situation here. I prefer to start Dante Moncrief if you've got the choice. Take Dante Moncrief. The Colts, they got a high-powered offense. They got luck doing this thing. And they're playing against the Lions at home, folks. They're playing against the Lions at home. You know T.Y. and Moncrief are going to eat. There's going to be a lot of double coverage on T.Y. Hilton. You know Moncrief's going to eat underneath. Now, me and Mo just got to split on this one. I'm saying definitely take Randall Cobb. I don't believe in the Jacksonville Jaguars defense whatsoever. I think oh, every defense in that and every team in that in that in that conference sucks. I think that it's a no brainer because Jody Nelson's going to eat up, take up targets, but that's going to help. Him because he's good. Jordy Nelson is going to take the double teams. It's going to put Cobb back in his natural position. We've seen last year when he was number one, he wasn't comfortable there. But now with the pressure off from Jordy Nelson there back in his position, there's no doubt that Cobb is going to break out. And we're talking about, uh, we're talking about Aaron Rodgers throwing him the ball. I'm going to take my shot with Aaron Rodgers throwing him the ball all day. I think it's going to be a big one. So me and Mo split this week on this one. You got to go with who you, who you got on that one, person. Who it's the next one? That is definitely the gut pick of the week right there, folks. Uh, all right, we got next, we got one from Brian, Demarius Thomas or Michael Floyd? 
Well, I, I don't like the quarterback that Demarius Thomas is getting thrown from. I, I can't trust that right now. So based on quarterback play, there's no doubt that you have to go with Michael Floyd. This is the first week of the season. You want to get a win on the about the first week. I'm saying you can't make the playoffs in the first week, but you don't want to get on a bad streak. So I would definitely say start Michael Floyd here. I, mean, I think he's going to get the targets. It's going to uh, be enough for us to spread it around there. I like his quarterback a thousand times better. I always trust a quarterback in these situations. Definitely going Floyd. Most definitely. The Cardinals are playing the New England Patriots at home. Patriots defense is not what it used to be. This is an easy call, Brian. Definitely take Michael Floyd. You're not going to want to sit there and start. You're not going to want to sit there and start him against the Carolina Panthers. Because that's who Demarius Thomas is going to be lined up against. Josh Norman is actually playing for the Redskins now, so they don't have a number one DB in Carolina. But you should definitely not take the odds against that Carolina defense in general. Michael Floyd is the safer pick, and he's the hot pick. Carson Palmer has got so many weapons, and Larry Fitz, Michael Floyd, and John Brown, they're going to get all sorts of targets over there. They're going to eat. definitely take Michael Floyd. That's the pick from Don, Teflon, and Mo Genie. Yeah, we agree on this one then. Michael Floyd is the pick of the week, which is the next one, Mo. Next one here is from Nick, and he asks, Doug Baldwin or Eric Decker? Well, I guess people are most likely would lean towards Doug Baldwin in this one, but I think that people just uh, underestimate Eric Decker. Every year he goes out there, every year he catches touchdowns. I think he gets a bad rap probably because he's a white receiver. People don't want to give him the love that, that, that he deserves, but it doesn't really matter who his quarterback's been. Every time Eric Decker goes in there, check the stats year after year, he's catching touchdowns. I'm taking reliability. As I said, you want to get off to a good start. You want to you don't want to roll the dice. I'm definitely just going to go and go with Eric Decker. I think he's definitely going to get into the end zone this week without a doubt. And I, Baldwin may, but I'm guaranteed, I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteeing that Decker is going to get a touchdown this week without a doubt. So definitely go with Decker in this pick. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you here. I don't like the matchup with Seattle. They are playing the Dolphins, but I do not see – Doug Baldwin doing what he did last season. I think it was a fluke. I just don't believe in that, in the offense there, that they're going to be, you know, high flying, throwing the ball around like they did last season. Eric Decker is a more than capable wide receiver. He's playing against a tough Cincinnati defense. The Jets are playing the Bengals at home. But I trust in, in Fitzmagic. I trust in Brandon Marshall taking a lot of the coverage and Eric Decker at least getting one touchdown. Yeah, so we agree again on that one. What is the next one? We've got Jarvis Landry versus Julian Edelman in this one. Well, this this would be the the, the the toughest one of them all, if I had to go with. Julian Edelman is usually a more reliable threat. This is a guy that you know what he's going to do, especially in the PPR league. He's going to get you like six catches. He may get you 80 yards. And even if he doesn't get you in the end zone in the PPR league, that's usually good. Uh, but his quarterback is suspect to me. And and I, I don't know if I could if, – if I – this is really a, a tough one, but – Though he has a suspect quarterback, I don't know who else this guy's going to throw the ball to, especially in the PPR league. I was going to have to still just, uh, just rely with Julian. And take him. Take him. This, you know he's going to get at least get six balls, catches, without a doubt. Dion, if you've got a decision between Jarvis Landry and Julian Edelman, I congratulate your team. You must have an awesome team that you got to decide between these two ballers. I mean, my goodness, I know some people that got some stacked wide receiver ones and twos, but, man, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. People are questioning Edelman this season because he's got Garoppolo, and it is what it is. They're going to be going up against the Arizona Cardinals. You got to go with your gut on this one. This is another gut pick of the week. And in my opinion, Ryan Tannehill, you know, he's the man right now. You got to go with the safer play. Miami's playing against the Seattle Seahawks on the road, and – you know, you can't really go wrong with either one. You can flip a coin. I mean, you know, Garoppolo, I haven't seen too much out of him. 
you know, will he be doing underneath passes to Julian in the slot? I mean, I don't know, but I'd rather take Jarvis Landry. Uh, so we're going to split on this one again. He says, Jarvis Landry, I do not. So let's take that split and move on to the next one. Is that the all the wide receivers? We got, we got three more. All right. This one's uh, from another Nick. He asks, Kelvin Benjamin or John Brown? You know, a lot of people are down on Kelvin Benjamin. A lot of people don't think Kelvin Benjamin's going to do what he did before he got injured. Kelvin Benjamin was a great receiver before he got injured, at least showing signs of greatness. Uh, but even so, you, you, you have to go with John Brown. You can't risk it in the first week of the season if you have this choice to make. Take John Brown because you know he's going to get the target. You know what's going to happen. He's going to get the deep ball. He's going to catch the deep ball. He's most likely going to score. I mean, Kelvin Benjamin, let's see what he has before you put him up against a John Brown. I have no problem starting Kelvin Benjamin, but up against John Brown, I take John Brown. Most definitely going to have to ride with you on this one. I don't like the matchup that Carolina has. They're playing against the Broncos on the road. You know, they, a lot of teams, a lot of people say when a team goes to the Super Bowl, the very next year they struggle. Carolina Panthers may have some struggles this season with the disappointment of not winning the Super Bowl. You know, Kevin's coming back from injury. I like what the Arizona Cardinals have. They're going to be playing against the Pats at home. They got a real good offense, high-powered offense. Carson Palmer looks like he hasn't aged one day. And that offense is just, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a locomotive. It's a well-oiled machine. We're going with John Brown, folks. No doubt, no doubt. Next up is Larry Fitz and Jeremy Macklin. Larry Fitzgerald or Jerry Lee Macklin? Mac Macklin. <laughs> I think that Jerry, I'm starting Jeremy Macklin. I'm taking the number one guy over a guy, a group of guys. I always like the number one guy in that set. Jeremy Macklin is definitely the number one receiver. So I think that is the reason to take him without a doubt. He's the number one receiver in his offense. I'm not going to take the number two, three receiver, another offense over a number one receiver. I'm going to trust in that and take Jeremy Macklin. Yeah, you're always going to, you know, get your guaranteed six to seven catches, 50 plus yards, or hopefully a catch in the bread basket in the end zone with a number one receiver. You know, it's not always about him being a number one. There's a multitude of factors. And, and the Chiefs are playing against the Chargers at home. You got to look at the matchup, too. I will safely say I'm taking Macklin over Fitzgerald here, even though I like that the Cardinals are playing against the Pats at home. Chargers defense is soft as pudding, and even a guy like Alex Smith will be able to carve him up, safely take Jeremy Macklin. And the last one here in the wide receiver category is Willie Sneed and Deshaun Jackson. Very about basically almost the same receiver. This one is older than the other one. You know, you basically have the same type of skill set and stuff. I really think that it's do you believe in Kirk Cousins? Do you think that that was a fluke what he pulled off last year? Is he going to be able to uh, do that again? I think at least in the first game, yes. I'm going to, even though I think Sneed's definitely getting the targets where he's at without a doubt. I, I you know, I, I would take Snead. I'm gonna. I would roll the dice with Snead in this situation, just because I just think that he's going. He is the number one receiver on that team. I know people wanted to say it's Brandon Cooks, but it's really gonna be him when it's all said and done. And I think that he's going to definitely catch a couple of deep balls where I doubt. So go with Snead in this one. Well, this is where we part, and this is not just because I'm a Redskins fan. It's because I believe and trust in Kirk Cousins. This man is going into a contract year again. He was forced to prove himself for a second year, which is this 2016 season, before he can get the big bucks. He's going to come out swinging. You know quarterbacks in a career year are always going to put up big numbers. I trust in Deshaun Jackson's speed. The man's got a gift. He's got a speed like no one else in the league. I love Willie Sneed as well because that offense is clicking. The Redskins are going up against um, they're going up against the Steelers week one. And 
you know, it's a toss-up. They're at home, which I prefer. The Saints aren't at home. So I'm going to go with Deshaun Jackson on that one, folks. All right, we definitely split on that. And that ends the wide receivers start of sits for the week of the first week in the National Football League, uh, 2016.